Good afternoon, and welcome, welcome to this session. So how many of you have stayed in an IHG property before? All right. All right. So for those of you who have not experienced the brand yet, let me tell you there are 19 brands under the IHG umbrella. So next time you could choose to get smarter and stay in a Holiday Inn Express or follow the celebrities and U.S. president and stay in a Kimpton or an intercontinental hotel. So we're here to talk about the data modernization story at IHG on Google Cloud. So let's get right into it. My name is Anoop, Anoop Prasad, and I lead the consumer business at Cognizant. As part of my business unit, we serve clients in consumer goods, travel, and hospitality sectors. At Cognizant, our purpose is to engineer modern businesses to improve everyday life. And as part of my business unit, we get plenty of opportunities to unite behind that purpose as we serve and engage with clients like IHG. This story, for example, the data modernization story is all about improving guest experience. It's all about enhancing owner economics. And we are delighted and privileged to be a partner with IHG, a brand which has a culture of first. The first hotel brand to build online hotel booking platform, the first brand to get into franchising model, the first brand to build the global rewards platform. So if you're not a member of IHG One Rewards, you're probably missing out because there are 130 million members worldwide. So a typical hotel experience starts with inspiration planning through departure. And in that customer journey map, there are a lot of key themes and trends playing out, starting with personalization of the experience across channels, whether you book your stay online, on a contact center, or through OTA. Personalizing that experience across channels is a key priority for our clients. Improving associate and franchise experience is another critical agenda. Strengthening the franchise relationship is a critical, critical success factor for leading hotel brands. Improving operational efficiencies across properties, much like in most of the industries today in the macro environment we all live in. Leveraging data and AI to drive revenue growth management is a critical opportunity and a significant opportunity for most of the clients we work with. And as you can imagine, sustainability, reducing wastage, improving utilities management and spend is a C-suite agenda across all the leading hotels. All of this would not be possible without a robust data foundation. And this is where Cognizant excels. So here at the Vegas Strip, for example, for more than half of the properties you see on the Vegas Strip, Cognizant is the data and AI partner. And the reason we are able to do that is because we lead with offerings, industry offerings for the hospitality sector. Through our omni-channel marketing capability, we are building single view of customer for our leading brands and resorts here on the Strip across the gaming, hotel, restaurant, retail experiences, building that CDP, that single view of customer, is helping our clients build that omni-channel loyalty with their guests. We are now infusing Gen AI into the CDP so that our clients can deliver the next best offers in a lot more personalized fashion. Property operations. We are leveraging that capability to modernize a lot of PMS and CRS systems across our clients. Franchisee operations is another critical, critical success factor and a core capability where we help our clients onboard new franchises through training enablement, establishing common brand uh, standards. And lastly, the associate experience transformation, as I mentioned, is a core capability that helps that front office become a lot more customer focused. All of these offerings are backed by our core capabilities in IoT, sustainability, data, and core modernization. 
And this full stack of offerings that we have for hospitality sector is what differentiates us. It what makes us relevant and strategic for our clients. So without further ado, let me ask uh, my esteemed client here, Barbara, to talk more about the success story at IG on data modernization. Thank you, Anoop. Uh, so I, I am Barbara Liesenfeld, and as Anoop mentioned, I am um, responsible for data engineering at IHG. Uh, data engineering at IHG is part of our technology services division, um, but we have an organization that is very matrixed from a data perspective. Um, and so I'm going to tell you a little bit about our journey moving off of our legacy platforms onto Google's data products, and Cognizant was obviously our uh, partner on that effort. So I'm not gonna drain a lot of the reasons why we did this. I feel like if you're here in the session, you understand sort of why there's an imperative to move off of some of the legacy platforms. So IHG wasn't very different from that regard. Um, we had business objectives to achieve. And the way we looked at the beginning of the journey is we had, um, we actually had a, like many of you, I'm sure, um, a Hadoop Hortonworks wrapper that was on GCP infrastructure from back in 2016. And that was moved when um, the BigQuery managed service product really came into its own in 2019. Uh, but we still had our legacy on-prem data warehouse, Teradata. We had a big SaaS footprint. We were using Informatica and our visualization was mainly business objects. And so we were looking to be able to do all of the things that I'm sure you guys have just spent the last three days learning about, which you can do when you have a modern cloud-based data platform. So that was sort of the driver for what we were trying to do. Um, and again, some of the things that I'm sure a lot of you are facing around having duplicate data across the platforms, duplicate pipelines, um, inefficiencies, and the ability to scale, huge. Um, we had during the pandemic, like many companies, but in particular a hospitality company, we had, um, we had to really dial back a lot of costs in a very short amount of time. And the things that we'd already deployed to GCP really enabled us to do that very quickly. And that, that's kind of the power that you cannot get with the on-prem, more traditional um, legacy contracts. So um, a little bit about what we were facing. And I think anybody that's going on this journey has gone on this journey, right? We had to take all of many, many data assets from those, all of those platforms and plan for the migration. And I'm going to say that we felt like there were um, accelerators that we were going to need to move massive, you know, petabytes of data, thousands of tables and tier data, hundreds of thousands of Informatica workloads, hundreds of thousands of SaaS workloads, hundreds and hundreds of reports to the modern platform. And so I don't have this, I don't think, laid out exactly in a slide, but I will say when I think back, so we did this um, in 2021 and we finished last March. So it's been about a year. So we've successfully done this, spoiler alert. Um, and I think the three main things that were critical to our success, one was choosing Google. I mean, we really believe, and I feel like it's been very validating the last few days here, that Google has the industry leading data platform so much that at IHG, we made the decision that even though we wanted to simplify our public cloud infrastructure and we're a multi-public cloud shop, that we went with Google for data because we felt that they were really the leaders and they had that product. And for those of you who service um, users who are you know, your SQL analytical users, et cetera, BigQuery is a really great product. And so for us, Google was part of uh, the right decision at the time. And then from actually managing and getting the program through, we had two primary objectives and kind of ways of working that when we look back, I think helped to make us successful. One was our definition of success was turning off the old platforms as well as getting to the new one. I'm sure we all have been part of many uh, platform and application and data migrations where you leave the old things running and then you deal with all of that duplicative data and workloads you know, forever. Um, and so we were really clear that we weren't gonna be successful and not just moving and creating all of the new workloads on GCP, but also turning off Teradata, Informatica, SaaS, and business objects. And that was sticking to that. It was hard. I mean, we had data users who were very ingrained in those programs. It was hard. Uh, but that was key. And the other thing for us from a scope perspective is that we knew we couldn't transform every single piece of data that we had in those legacy platforms. I mean, that would have taken us seven years instead of a year and a half. And so we had an approach where we said, broadly speaking, 
we divided it into thirds. A third of our data, we were going to retire. So we said, we just used the analogy, it was like um, when you move houses and you have boxes that are you're just taped up and you just move from one house to the next and you never really look at them. We didn't want to just move a bunch of boxes. We wanted to, at a minimum, open up each box and really look at it and make a decision. And we said a third of those are not coming. We need to, broadly speaking, we felt like that was something we could achieve. A third of them, we said we're going to migrate as is. And of course, it's different technology, so migrating as is, that's where Cognizant came in with their accelerators to get us to our new code base. Um, but migrate as is without any functional changes or uplift that weren't the technical benefits. And about a third of it, we were going to allow to be transformed, accepted new requirements on those. And we spent really the first six months of the program, one of my primary business partners is here, uh, working with our data owners and data stewards to make the decisions about that third, 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 and that was hard. And that was, and once we made those decisions, we were ruthless about sticking to those, and any changes to that had to go back up to the executive steer co, which really kept us on track. And I think for anybody looking at a big warehouse migration, those are some things that we felt like made us successful. Last, but certainly not least, the other thing that was super important for us was our partnerships. So I mentioned that I'm part of our technology organization at IHG. So we um, power the engineering for our data, but we have business partners that own the data and bring the value to life. And so we had very strong collaborative um, leaders from each of our primary data organizations that were in the trenches with us doing the delivery. It was not a technology owned or led project. It was a matrix thing. And the last thing of that was our partnership with Cognizant. Uh, Cognizant is our, from a data perspective at IHG, they've been our partners for over a decade and they have a huge amount of deep knowledge of our data. And I think all of us as probably owners of data systems know that the knowledge of the data itself is so important. It's not just a coding. You can't just bring somebody in that knows how to code. You have to understand the data. And so by working with Cognizant and being able to take some of the leads that we worked with day on day put them on this project, cognizant, backfilled with other resources to keep our BAU running, and um, we were able to really swarm on this and get it done. Uh, uh, we had a few different um, estimates that were gonna take three years, sometimes two and a half to three years to get this done, and we were able to achieve this in um, 18 months. So uh, just a little bit, I know I didn't really, I went off track on the slides there. Um, I think I touched on the ruthless prioritization was super important. Um, the performance tuning, so there were a lot of learnings as we went. Cognizant has accelerators that really helped us crank through a lot of our uh, workloads, some of which required manual handling, but by eight, being able to take out, I don't know, say 80% of it with the accelerators, then you could fine tune the workloads that required that extra hands-on expertise to, um, to finish moving over. So, um, yeah, I think just to wrap up in case there's any questions, we have, um, we did it, and that was exciting. Um, and when I think about um, what was successful, so the first thing is, and to be realistic about it, we hit our ROI. There was a cost of running these um, legacy platforms, Teradata, SaaS, Informatica, and Business Objects, and we had, we spent a lot of time with our Google partners to make sure we understood the cost model and where we had to make decisions on which products to choose to, to bring in the uh, cost savings. And um, we've done it, we've done it. It's been more than a year, we have the cost savings. And the great news for IHG is that wasn't all planned to be money taken out of the business, but rather a huge chunk of that was to say, we want that data available to grow and build new data assets. So we were able to do both. We were able to save money and have more um, investment to apply to the new cool things. And that was, I mean, that's a huge part of the win for us. Um, the second thing is that our users like our platform. They like BigQuery, they like the other things. We have advanced users that are using BQML, et cetera, a lot of the things you've heard about here. Um, and I guess I would be remiss to say that we are very much set up for success for generative AI on GCP. And IHG is you know, digging into that. Maybe you heard um, that we have a travel planner application that we've always already built there. Um, and I think for those of us who are uh, data engineers or data background, when Gen AI first became a thing, you know, a year ago, et cetera, we're trying to get our heads around what does it mean and within the organization, where does that development sit? 
the way I thought about it was, you know, Gen AI is not data, but Gen AI needs data, and Gen AI produces data. So it makes all the sense to, if you can, leverage the platform that you already had your enterprise data. And so we were really lucky that our architecture team made the decision that we should follow the data, and where possible, we will have Gen AI and platforms, I'm sure, like every company in a lot of places, but where possible and um, as our first choice, we're building those models on top of GCP. Having the data there for the grounding, having the data there for the explainability, that's a huge accelerator for us. So those are kind of the wins that we feel like we've already seen from our journey. And um, yeah, that's really it. I want to make sure I leave time for questions. Let me see if there's, yeah, that was all of our slides. Anoop, did you want to add anything? No, I think, I think you covered um, in great detail, so thank you. Thank you for sharing that story.